well hello everyone and welcome back to life of wonders welcome back to my channel this is polo and today i thought i would just share with all of you like a combined sort of like quick review and size comparison of the three different alices uh, or alice dolls that were released and produced by robert toner back when the movie was released like the first one in 2009 i think um and well i'm a huge fan of alice um that is why my channel name is a life of wonders is quite um inspired by it and um and i've previously reviewed every single one in separate videos a long time ago actually when my channel was just like completely new <laughs> uh but you can actually go to my profile and scroll down and you will find the individual sort of like reviews but i thought i would just put them here together because even though if you were to buy them uh in the secondary market because obviously they're super sold out um in the descriptions they will tell you that this one of over here uh that is the arm um, from umbridge uh it's it, 21 inches tall uh that one over here is like a normal sort of like 16 inches of like uh similar to an, any other like taylor uh tyler wentworth um doll or limited edition doll by the disney store like this 16 inches one um I mean, it's the same. It's a little bit thicker, but it's the same size. Uh, it's a pity, though, that the Disney Store did not release this version of her uh, by the time the first... Like, I don't think they... I mean, I think that the first one for Life Action was the Cinderella one in 2015. So a few years after that. So this one is actually quite possibly the most sought, sought after, even though like the other ones are really rare as well. Uh, so she's that sort of like, um, yeah, sev sev 16 or 17 inches in height. And the little one that's called uh, Tea Party Crusher, uh, it's about t uh, 10 inches or so. And in reality, when you put them side by side, you can see a very big difference that you might not expect when you're getting them, especially this one that is just super big. So you really have to have space for it. Uh, but then at the same time, I find it so amazing because it's like the only line that has actually uh, cared so much for the details of the different Alice dolls being having... Um, depicted differently and having different proportions of course as 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 she's just like going uh up and down uh all through the movie so um i have the whole collection with the white queen the two mahatas uh the red queen as well anyway the thing is that and 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 the the differences between and that is something that i also like very much about the red queen and is that the the head is actually so much bigger than the head of Alice or or Queen Miranda, I think it's called the White Queen, uh, because in the movie it is, but the limited edition one that Disney Store released, still the the face mold was not as big in comparison, so that is why I believe like the Robert Toner doll, especially for the Alice in Wonderland, uh, seen through the eyes of Tim Burton, is quite possibly the best sort of like um yeah collection of dolls i would say even though i love the uh platinum set that they released for for alice uh through the looking glass and i also like very much i know it's not as popular but i like the one it, uh, that she's dressed as with like the asian inspired uh, outfit and the sculpt is amazing that i mean that doll looks exactly like the actress so anyway um and those dolls would be like the same height of this one over here so yeah i mean again this was just like to give you a size comparison the details are amazing for every single doll even like the very little one over here she's like a smaller than a barbie i would say the articulation is like super cool 
all of them have like actually have a lot of articulation but this one as it's too big it doesn't have on the wrist but other than that uh they then on the knee elbow shoulder and the wrists as well and then this one over here i believe it has like extra chest um articulation as well so again like i'm getting closer so you can see they're all hand painted like they i mean the eyes everything uh and actually every doll is a little bit different because they were just uh produced by the few artists that were uh, at the time working for robert toner and they were painted individually and so that is why you can see maybe minor differences between and plus the the limited edition of these ones were so incredibly reduced compared to any other disney store um launch um so so yeah but but there is a lot of artistry here and i'm so appreciative of it then here we have this one over here that's like amazing amazing and actually we did not even get an 11 inch one with this outfit my goodness they should have but anyway so i have like the i think it's jack specific one and then i gave her one of my disney store ones 11 inches one because for the for the second movie we actually got um, um a doll for every single character even time or Kronos or I, I don't remember what was the exact name but we got it for the time for um for, for the red queen for the white queen for the Mount Hata, and then Alice as like uh, the adventure sort of like outfit which was repeated for the platinum set that was a little bit disappointing though um, they could have done again other sort of outfit but we never got the outfit for a, a limited edition one as this size or even the smaller versions so this dress is actually amazing it has like embroidery details um and there is organza it, i think it's a really nice reproduction of it um then i mean there's that inner skirt then the um the um stockings the boots are actual leather i mean uh, the details are just simply amazing and breathtaking as well i saw this one i mean as you can see and then right over here we have um from umbridge and this is how she presents herself when she arrives at the court of the right queen palace and I mean she's breathtaking like i don't i don't think you can she has super incredibly soft hair um it's actually the softest because this one has like a lot of gel and that one a little bit as well so this is like the softest of them all then as you can see everything is painted the details the eyes the lashes everything um and then the outfit is just amazing and remember that she actually uh makes this outfit out of like material that she finds um that she finds around like drapes and stuff so here we have like tassels and there is a lot of organza uh, satin in black then the organza is like in red there's also satin bits in red then, then there is like this pattern that is irregular here with these two little things on the front and then the pattern has hearts all around and it's black and white it has glitter but it isn't stiff or anything it actually flows super well um and then i'm going to show you from the back because i mean um the details are just amazing again the, the hair she has lots of hair though again it's just like um so so soft she even has like the bandage sort of thing um and then as you can see the irregular pattern from the back it's just like amazing um and um i am i will also be uh showcasing other uh robert toner disney princess dolls actually um because i do have uh i do have snow white or oh, i also have mary poppins and i have bell and jasmine that i have not yet reviewed uh, so I will be doing that 
Uh, but first, I just wanted to to show you this, and in my opinion, like for at least for these ones, and uh, also there's Rapunzel that I don't have, and Ariel. Um, but in my opinion, uh, the the Cinderella one, which I've already uh, made made a video about her, it's one of the best. Like as how it's very very honest to the actual animation. Uh, the face, the proportions, the outfit, everything. Uh, because for the Disney Store one, sometimes we get an ex a, an exaggerated or super elaborated sort of like version. But um, I like how simple these ones are in a way, actually, for the animation ones. So I will be I will be sharing those. Plus, I have the whole Alice in Wonderland collection and also the Agnes Drary dolls as well and the Evangeline. So I don't know. There's, if you're into these dolls, I would definitely stay tuned. But I hope that this uh, review has been helpful. Um, it's kind of uh, hard for me to, <laughs> to make them all appear uh, on camera. I think it's kind of um, cool to see the different, you know, the different sizes uh, for the dolls and and yeah, I hope it's been helpful and you've enjoyed it. And if you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also by uh, doing that, you are like supporting me. Um, I can get the feedback that you like this kind of content. Um, also, let me know about your thoughts and feelings and everything. And, and subscribe as well because it's completely free. And, and there's just so much more that I will be sharing with you in the upcoming future that I'm pretty sure you'll find interesting. Um, so for now, I hope you all stay safe and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.